ladies and gentlemen, for the 810th time it is the Mason and Friends show, featuring that dude called Big Mike, a.k.a. The Black Hand of Mike. Yeah. As well as that dude called Unit, a.k.a. His Junus. What up, bitch? As well as Lisa, a.k.a. The woman trying to give it to me that women aren't bad. <laughs> <laughs> As well as myself, Mahoney. Welcome to the Mason and Friends show. Don't leave that book like that, girl. J Rod? My bad. What's up? Did you introduce J Rod? Yeah. Yeah. I was the first one. Started with him. I'll be trying to reverse it back and forth to help myself with the camera work. Make it so it's easier for me. Like, I, you know, a lot of what I do is like got to do with me making it easier for my video that I'll be making. So the first episode I go this way, second episode I go that way. That's how I'm trying to do it anyway, you know, add some kind of consistency, because I used to just fuck with myself and make it harder to do, so now I don't fuck with myself in the same way. Right on. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa has a couple of books, and if you would like to have these books, you can have them too. It's a book called by George Orwell called 1984, and another book by Aldous Huxley called A Brave New World. Mr. Huxley is one of my favorite writers of all time. Yes, mine Both too. of them are good reads. Amazing. Yes. Huxley has, Huxley has a lot of stuff to read outside of A Brave New World. I don't know about Orwell. I haven't read a lot of Orwell by comparison, but I've Both read it. these books fucked up my life and completely changed my entire personality, I think, when I read them in middle school. 1984. I remember reading that one. They're profound. And I'm like, yo, this is the shit that we already deal with. They're like, really scary now. I'm like, oh yeah, especially They're now. Really scary now. Now, if you read them now, you're like, man, what the fuck? But we read them back then. They was already written before we was even born. Mm -hmm. That's that's you know what I mean. That's, even that's my point. These shit. guys didn't quite nail it, but they got the gist. They got the total gist. Like we're living in that right now. Like, oh yeah, like, absolutely. People are like, why don't you want kids? I'm like, because I live in 1984 in a brave new world, blended together in a really disgusting kind of way. Yeah. The other, the other one that should be mentioned is uh, Philip K. Dick's um, Do Androids, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. That's another. Yeah, one. That's, that's, that's what Blade that, Runner is based read, on. Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying that book also one of those ones I that I, had I read, to read that one. as an impressionable young mind, and it completely kind of made me a socialist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the that's a big mistake. But um, uh, Fahrenheit 451 is a good one too. Yes. Yeah, oh, that just got that banned. One. That just that's came out those, on the list. Yep. Seventy nine more books were fucking officially banned last week in Hanover County, where I live. <sighs> Fahrenheit 451 is one of them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Fahrenheit. Jesus yep. Christ. There's a there's. Well, I'll be yep. buying a lot of Fahrenheit 451 as we speak on eBay they that also, I've been considering buying. So add that to the list of books I'll send you. Yeah. If you'd like a book, if you'd like to expand your fucking mind. Yeah. They uh they banned a couple of Chuck Polniak books too, which like doesn't Fight surprise Club me. Choke. Choke hey, was the big beat one. Beat on the wall. Beat on the wall. I texted them. Um. I tried to be sweet. I sent him, a, I sent him a, a gift of a drunk lady going, shh. You can't be sweet. That's the problem. You can be sweet. I'm going to run up in there and punch him in the mouth one of these days. I think sweet might be the tactic that works. No, there's a reason I don't have children or girlfriend or uh, any of those things. But we you know. got to be an ass you know. to the little ones. Everyone. These, these little niggas here, they understand asshole. You got to be asshole. They speak asshole fluently. I'm trying to teach them the language of another type of way to get things done. Like, not be a dick? Shame. No, I'm kidding. He said stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. Said sh shame. Shame. I give You're trying to teach them shame. I give that, shame. that puppy look, and I'm like, shame. please, make me proud. <laughs> Well, see, that could probably that could work because you're a female. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's why I thought it's different with a female saying some shit like that versus us. Us, we have to be dickheads to them. This is the only way they listen. Like, yeah. you know, I was I was actually surprised that they had to be a dickhead to fucking uh, the the offspring of smoke. They, but them little niggas, they was worn out. So I think that's the key. Shit. You gotta wear them little niggas out before they get to an event, and they straight the whole fucking he time. Had, he had a game. Yeah. What time? They end up leaving because 
And they had a game that fucking morning. I know that bitch was in the hot tub. Yeah, Cam had a game. But they was asleep when we got when we were up there. Oh, I know fucking four well, days, all three of them came. All, all of them was knocked the fuck out. Like I didn't even know Sleep fucking everywhere. My little man was knocked out in the chair downstairs. I didn't even know he was curled up in there until he I went. Cute. I was like, God damn, this nigga, nigga gone. Like, he was cute. Get your ass up, boy. Time to go to bed. Let's go sleep. Shit. Y'all had a good time up at that thing every year. It was yeah. so fun. Everyone was so nice and so sweet and like welcoming and just ugh, such a good group of people y'all got. For real. That is like we, so, it should be so treasured. We've and been I hope like y'all that. know how lucky you are. Oh, yeah, we know. It's Shit. fucking amazing. We've been like that since day one since we all started hanging out with each other. I mean, I'm sad. I grew up in the same fucking town and I don't know. I didn't have that kind of like tight knit shit. It was like I went to college and basically all those people that I was like kind of tight with, eh, those bonds like didn't stick around. That's they, the crazy part. All it's probably because I left. All the shit that's, that happened to all of us, it all started with me and Kid. Like, it yeah. started off with our relationship. And then it was like the fucking Diddy verse and Biggie song. Like, hey, why don't you and your friends get with me and my friends? We can do this shit every weekend. That's what we ended up really doing. It was like, yeah. we just all kicked it. And then what really put the ice on the cake was the cabin days. The cabin was this little small fucking house, no bigger than this fucking room right here. Mm-hmm. One bathroom, 14 of us living in this bitch. Damn. We, I mean, we, and we took care of each other. Yeah. yeah. Everybody took care of shit. We made the houses clean. Yeah. Shit was done. Food on the table, man. Fucking tiny. The kitchen was no bigger than the fucking like desk commune. right there. <laughs> You know what it I mean? Like, we worship marijuana the and <laughs> the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I say this room in the, yeah. in the kitchen. I, I wouldn't even say that big. I say yeah, this room because they had the kitchen nah, too. I say this room and the boys' bedroom. That's how big it was all together. Oh, yeah, tiny yeah. ass motherfucking cabins. But it's fourteen of us in this bitch, man, living it up, chilling. Get off work, we there. It's fun. You know what I mean? And that bond just stayed with us as we got older. We just all kept in mm-hmm. touch like that, you know. Yeah. Like we we wouldn't talk off and on, you know, for a while, but when we all got together it was still the same shit. That's like great. it never yeah. changed, you know? And now our kids get to grow up with each other similar to like we all some of us knew each other as kids some of us met each other as teenagers as well. teenagers when we all really got to hang in. but our kids known each other since fucking they little since they were little, little. little. See, you know, you know, that's, yeah. a, know, that's a good thing for y'all man for your children's You're sake lucky. and shit yeah. you know like mm-hmm. I moved all over the place and look at me me too so, you know. me too dude I moved um, uh-huh. seven times by the time I was fucking 12 when we moved here no i was like 10 when we moved here yeah. yeah it was like it was like seven times by the time i was 10 yeah every yeah. time i got comfortable with a place we moved somewhere else mm-hmm. and, we hopped uh, around a lot the worst yeah. baltimore maryland yeah. don't even get me started on I living there we either. lived there for one year it was the worst year of my life y'all mm, shit worst I, year of my life I sorry was to hear that fairfax, school is rough sterling back to fairfax and then my best year of school that i ever had like Everything was working. I had my first girlfriend, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. And we fucking moved out here, and I was pissed the fuck off when we moved out here. Fuck me up. I was like, God yeah. damn it. I was about to get my dick wet. See, and no, I that's, had to fucking move. see but that's my point, yeah. bro. That's my point, man. Parents, we if, can't if, leave yet. I'm if so I hadn't, close. Yeah, I had to move around. If I hadn't moved around so much, man. If I hadn't moved around so much, I might be interested in relationships, but I'm not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe. 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 It also would depend on the kind of relationships I'd have got into. But that's yeah. my my thing. I, my relationships have been bad because I don't know how to fuck to find anybody worth the shit. And, like, that's partially caused by moving around all the time as a kid. Your parents, though. Well, it's my parents' fault. They're still together. Yeah. They actually gave you a good example. They did, and that's part of my problem. Oh, too, too high of a standard? I guess so. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, sorry, I'd like someone that I might actually be involved with for 50-plus years and not just, oh, well, we hit five and fuck you very it's much. It's usually the seven year itch, they say it's a seven year itch. Always. Yeah, that's yep, it's that's a seven what year. I got to right at seven the years. Seven I was year. like, I fucking <laughs> hate you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, don't know why. It just happened. No, I'm just kidding. I maybe my tolerance but has. Seven years is about right. Maybe my, tolerance, maybe my tolerance has spread because my first girlfriend was about two and a half to three years, and I was like, all right, fuck this bitch. And I made it to five. Okay. So my third relationship will be like maybe as far as seven years before I'm like, all right, fuck this bitch. 
marriage. But see, hold on. You yeah. count the relationships you was with in years. Like I, the ones I had less than a year, I really don't count them as. I don't like count them as relationships. Yeah. No, I've no, had no, lots no, of yeah, girls yeah. that it's I've not had longer sex than a year, with. Yeah, it was a fling. Exactly. It was yeah, a fling. That's, that's what I put it as. Yeah. Yep. If 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 it never got around to calling it anything. If I never met anybody from your family, that's a situation. That, yeah, it's just some bullshit. There you go. Yeah, and yeah. I've had plenty of those, but yeah. I had, you know, like I've had. Those I've aren't had real ex- relationships. Right. I've had. Those are hookups. I've had hookups that have lasted anywhere from like a couple of days to like five or six months. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's about it. And then there's been a couple of girls that were like, "Okay, you're like worth hanging out with a little more than I thought, but actually you weren't in the long run. But like, ain't nobody else worth a shit. So." Yeah, I've had very few relationships, and I had uh, fucking the shit in the in the in the in the, the in betweens. Then the fillers is what the in betweens are. The fillers. I've had right. And, and to me, the filler isn't even worth the time because it's like man, the fillers be fun though, bro. Right. The fillers are fun. The yeah. fillers are necessary ego boosts, man. Yeah, the fillers, right. the, the fillers, boost. the fillers fall on your lap when you're like I love bartending. Some fillers. And shit. The fillers the first, are the ones but... you can like refer to a job and still work with later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never tell nobody. You know we got a crooked dick, yeah. but you just like you're like I'm so glad you weren't here. We homies. It's like don't tell anybody. We fuck. Yeah. We homies. Like fuck it. Yeah. My first relationship. Fillers aren't bad. They're fun. <laughs> like after me and her broke up, like the fillers that came in with that one, that was some good shit. A lot of it I don't really remember, but it was a fun time. And then I got into another relationship that lasted for a while. Then the fillers that came in that one. All right, was Mike, good. let me ask you this: Where were you finding these fillers? That's just it. They kind of just ran into me. It was just random. Like every, anywhere I went to, I never had a problem just talking to a woman. Yeah. You know why? Confidence. Oh, I don't want to do it. I was confident that, in that's motherfucker. That's what it is, babe. That's what you need. You just need to walk in, even if you ain't got the biggest dick in the room. You gotta walk like you do. My and shit. Don't, but see, don't talk like you do. Like I'm gonna whip out these fucking three syllable amazing words and like amaze you with my intellect. Like don't you be just smart. Gotta, no, no, no. Don't I'm be not smart. saying. Girls don't no, like smart. No, no, no. We love smart. No, they don't. Yes, we fucking you do. You really don't. Look, you're. You can't say you can tell you me when you're you can literally tell me, sitting do like you can tell me the women girl. you can tell me the women like smart uh-huh. but what they like is someone that doesn't question their intellect someone that doesn't no. make them you actually know what I back up like? what the Somebody fuck that they can said keep up with my well, see, intellect well thing. congratulations my shit you're, the, the, you're, women the, women like you're me. the 1% bitch Bullshit. out there that is here's, not look, true here's my <laughs> thing with me it was always i just made a bitch laugh like, That's the other thing. I would sit there yep. and have a conversation. It'd be just, and it'd be just the most randomest bitch most of the time. I do that all day, every day, when I'm actually funny. interacting with women. Yeah. Well, I like people. So my thing is, I can do all of that. I am totally cutting it off. Like, I could have asked a girl out at the fucking expo. Yeah, yeah. I totally could have. I didn't. You know why? Because fuck that bullshit. She might have been real cool. But it would have been so much bullshit in my life that I don't want. I'm not doing it. And that's, that's, yeah, and then, yeah. But that's, right, that's, so that's the thing. I'm done with the bullshit. I know. If I'm you had a Tinder profile effort. right now, the only bio word would be jaded. That would be you. Why do you think I cut off all those things? I deleted I know, my Tinder account. You... I deleted my Bumble account. I deleted man. my Plenty of Fish you account. Know, I deleted all that those. shit because yeah, I don't know how to do them either. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Nothing. No, I mean, I don't know what how to do What the fuck it. do you fucking cuts what? I, can I am you not that. at don't all putting that effort cunts. in there. Mason. <laughs> fuck you fucking cunts. <laughs> See how I'm not looking at you? I'm looking at the fucking cunts that may or may not be watching right now. If there is another person with a vagina that might be here this bullshit at some point. I need them to understand all the shit that Mason's saying, y'all. He's lying. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, let me, him the let time me, of day, he'd be wait nice wait as fuck to you. He would I take would. you out. He would like hold get on, you flowers the next morning. Ladies, if you want to put a little effort into dating he me, I will like be a good guy to you. Here's right. the thing: I don't hate women. I don't hate women. I hate the process of finding a woman to be involved with because so far they've all been worth shit. Hold on, wait a minute. I got this. And the process <laughs> sucks more than ending up with the woman that isn't worth shit. Ladies and gentlemen. The views said by Mason are all for his, are not reflected on those of the show. They are his and his alone. 
<laughs> yes. Um, he needs a disclaimer. Uh, I'll just put it out there. You need a fucking hashtag disclaimer. That's hashtag like tag the opinions of views expressed the on the show. Opinions of Mason just... is the opinion of Mason on the Mason and Friends show. Okay. Well, Mason be frontin' because the how, Mason how is actually a really sweetheart and would treat a woman very well if one would give him the time of day. Mm-hmm, you come mm-hmm. across as somebody who is just mad that they don't have a lady. That's how it screams. I'm, it doesn't I'm, come I'm across as like... I'm not mad at not having a lady. I'm very happy not having a lady. I know, but you're just like, I'm going to take my ball and go home. That's okay? right. That's right. Cool. Nobody, I'm, I'm good. nobody I'm gonna play with the ball. I'm, 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 home. I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. I got my fucking blowjob machine. Blow and I'm going home. <laughs> you know? Fuck like, you guys. What, Fuck you women. The, what, what, you ladies, what have I wanted my entire <sighs> life? Suck my dick once a fucking week. I, I, I'll put up with all your fucking cunnery. But you're not going to do it. You know, you're just gonna be a fucking cunt consistently. So that's fine. That is not true. Go be a you cunt. Are cunt off. The couple. As they you may ain't say. Had, you ain't had that many relationships. You're taking the few bad examples that you really need to see as life lessons. They are. And you're they're, generalizing they're them alone. to distaste that's, all women in your opinion. That's fucking ignorant, my I, friend. I'm not detesting all women. I'm detesting the process of finding women. Because the women you I find effort. are worthless. Yes, Ooh. that's right. I'm done with that effort. There's enough things in my life for me to put effort towards and and they net me something but it doesn't net me the agita that a fucking woman I'm nets still be me. happy when you're not so butthurt over losing the last relationship because I feel no, like no, you'll no. be on a better plateau what you don't understand like about my last relationship again. is I'm not butthurt <laughs> about losing it I'm butthurt at the process concept of finding another one I'm disgusted at the normal. concept of trying but to find someone else to be involved with. What I'm trying to tell you it's is completely that is unappealing. A, that is a normal feeling that you are going through because of heartbreak. That's, That's fine. not because women suck and we're all fucking evil Jezebels. You're not. Thank you. That's the nice thing. That's the first nice thing you've said in the last two hours about a woman. Okay. You're, you're not all evil and just You're not all Thank evil. You. You're not all evil, but am I going to find one that's good? Maybe, yeah. but not if you talk like this all the time. Who's listening to this show? All of 15 people. Shout out Kirk. Shout out <laughs> Kyle. Shout out fucking Splinter. Shout out the 15 to 65 motherfuckers that consistently listen to this show. If you really listening. think any of the fucking 50 motherfuckers that listen to this show consistently okay. are going to fucking derail my ability to get in with a woman in the future? You really think I'm going to meet some woman and she's going to go, oh, you're Mason from the Mason and Friends show. I'm not willing to date you because of all the cunts that came out of your mouth on 810 no, episodes. Episode 810. The, the right if you're actually out there and you're still listening and you meet me in public, tell me you're not a cunt and I will ask you for your number and say, let's go out sometime. That's all you got to say to me, ladies. If you're one of the few ladies that's actually listening to this podcast and would like to talk to me in public, just, you could just say, hi, yeah. I listen to your show and I'm not a cunt. And I would say, may I have your number? Can I buy you dinner sometime? That's like right. you just did like an AA commercial. Remember how I used to go? <laughs> My name is such and such, and I'm an alcoholic. So right. My name is Tiffany, and I'm not a cunt. Exactly. That's all I need, <laughs> Tiffany. All I need, That should be the new t-shirt. Really? Uh, like, legit. I want a t-shirt that says, hashtag... I'm not a, a cunt. No, a woman, and then hashtag not a cunt. How about how about I'm and a woman, and then a checkbox that Mason. says not a cunt and has a check mark in it. How about that? Not a cunt. I mean, check mark. Honestly, what am I looking for? A woman? Check mark. Not a cunt. Check mark. Sold. What's up, lady? Oh wait, I'm sorry. Under 200 pounds. Check mark. Oh good god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be able to take so I can't much. take you out yeah, of the vet. I'll take you so You gotta much. come in the vet with me, girl. I'm the only one that can be over 200 in this motherfucker. Okay. I need under 180. Corvette in the back. Uh-huh. Oh, that shirt. I can't. <laughs> We are making good progress, Lisa. Now you can't. That's right. Now you're experiencing what it's like to date me. Here we were making good progress, and now, fuck you, okay, asshole. Wait a minute, now, so you when you meet a chick and she's like 185, you're like, hey, baby, look, I would love to take you somewhere, but you got that extra five. I said, can we go for a walk? 
<laughs> oh, you're all right. Girl, let's go, go for a walk. Let's 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 go for a
Say what, you Say what? Like the Max said, let the bird fly away and the tree will fly back. Look, I feel you like just got to let it fly back. Look it. I feel like Andrew, Andrew's whole dating philosophy is like, just spread the love completely around the general population and see what sticks. No, no, no. See, here's the thing. Now, look. I hear, no, no, no. I don't disagree with that. Because, look, like I was trying to tell you weeks ago, the Jew doesn't dislike the process of looking for women. He enjoys the process of looking for women. I don't like the process no. at all, but I put, you got to put the effort well, in. See, here's the thing. You, you yes. look at it like fishing. Like, you want you really to catch do. a fish. Like I, I don't want to catch a bitch that. or a good woman. I want to be left the fuck alone. I, I, like, I would love to have a good woman. But the whole process of putting a fucking bait on the hook and throwing that motherfucker in the water Sometimes and reeling that even, fucking motherfucker up. You make it sound up. like such a I don't process. Wanna, I don't, it it's, is a fucking process. No, dude, it is literally seeing people that are friends suggested to you on Facebook. You got some mutual friends. Send out a mass fucking text to yeah, like each one of those bitches and be like, hey, you look like a really, you got a really pretty smile. I don't do that at all. I'm pretty that sure is, that's how Andrew got me. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it is too and that's what I'm talking about. He likes the process of that's, putting the bait no, on the hook and throwing it in the water. Doing and that. see bullshit. No, yeah, yeah. That motherfucker okay, well, that likes doing that. No, no, I what don't. I'm saying is, see, Jew. He wants, but he wants Jew. the fish that he doesn't have to throw back, i.e., yeah, you. I would like okay. that, but I'm not willing to fucking bust out the 48 pound test I'm gonna need to find a fucking worthwhile cunt think, out of the sea of fucking whore cunt slut pieces of shit oh in God. the world that I don't wanna fucking dig through. Ladies. Ladies. <laughs> Don't worry. It's so the five hard women listening the only are already that ever talks to you. They're already uninterested. Do you have in other me. vaginas that you talk to on a regular basis? The Dude, views expressed on the Mason and Friends show are those of Mason and Mason only. <laughs> That's why it's called the Mason and Friends show, and his name is Mason. Yeah, for real. As he just told you us Mason in reality, I'm probably an asshole that you don't want anything to do with. That's n n no, that that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dating world sucks and nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants he to. always wants to be on the show. And every time I am, I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> no, I like this. Like, this is the it. only thing it I've is, got. It's annoying, right, babe? But you got to put yourself out there. That's how we came together. You got to do the effort if you, if, you, I mean, fucking, if you want you a relationship. Fucking, if you're, if you're, looking, for, if you're Mason, looking for it, you need, a, you need to put uh -huh. the effort in. Right. This man texted me two years ago on Facebook. And we like met. He, he, ha, ha. Sent a couple like, yeah, how's your day going? When are we ever going to meet? What's going on? At one point, I even was like, hey, I started dating somebody else. I can't be flirting with you on Facebook. Uh -huh. Didn't talk to him. He was dating somebody else for a little while. Uh -huh. Next thing you know, like, shows back up. Hey, how you been? And it, like, that's how you build. Uh -huh. Like, but you have to be but willing to that, have the but patience. But see, he's just saying it, right? He... He doesn't have that. He, he doesn't want to do that. He don't have that. Yeah. He don't, he, that's yeah, what he's yeah. telling but me. But it could come to you if you just uh, let yeah, it ride. One day. See, and that's my point. What I keep telling you is I'm not going to shut. Like, Emma Watson comes up and is like, would you like to have dinner sometime? I'd be like, of course I would. But it's not going to happen have a like that. Accent. She has it's like more the fun royal. to say her accent it's Cockney style. Day. It's much more fun to treat Emma no. like she's some kind of royal Cockney whore. Yeah. 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 Eliza do that. You said a royal Cockney she yes. doesn't talk like that, Emma. We know that you're articulate. To have her speak oh, on the show. She don't talk when like that. I do her voice on here. She speaks like this. She says, oh, and I'm now you're still like you just come by the neck, baby. She <laughs> said, <laughs> Now that I've taken your cock out of me mouth, I was thinking perhaps we could go out and have dinner together somewhere in public and you could put on something nice. Oh, Emma, that sounds delightful. I'd love oh to go in public God. with you and wear something nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Emma, we know you don't sound like a ghetto Mary Poppins, okay? Uh, like, ugh. Uh, like that, that's what's fun about it, Lisa. <laughs> See, this is why I'm single. I make a joke with a woman I love, right? And she gets like you get. Like, oh, oh, I'm so offended. Oh, my God, how okay. could you say such a thing? Okay, that's why I'm alone. Because I'm not going to sit here and fucking tiptoe around all these women. Okay. That's why I'm not going to look. Because when I talk to them, I piss them off. Yeah, I don't even know how are. we're friends, honestly. You're I, I don't so either. offensive. I don't either. <laughs> it's because you're fucking my friend and have zero interest in fucking me. It's perfect. That is not why it's we're perfect. friends. It's perfect. That's absolutely fuck? why we're friends. Otherwise, she'd be like, I can't hook you up or talk to you or have you around any of my friends because you're clearly jaded. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I need a moment to process that that's why you think we're friends. Okay. No, no, no. I think no, we're okay. friends because okay. I made friends with you No, no. You're just going to you write this off as more women bullshit. Yeah. The fact that you hurt my fucking feelings, you're going to be like, this is, this is why I don't fucking like women. No. Okay, ladies, he was not lying. He is a dick. Tell, I told you. <laughs> you don't want anything to do with me, girls. It's fine. Just leave me alone. You haven't wanted me my whole life. I'll take it. Yeah. It's fine. Mm-hmm. He I'm has still accepted going. his reality. I do exactly. I've accepted my reality. I'm undesirable to women, and when they speak with me, they get mad because I don't suffer their <sighs> bullshit. And the last girl I suffered a lot of her bullshit, and I'm my threshold for suffering bullshit is so gone. Mm-hmm. It's so gone. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just out. I'm out of the whole game. Like, okay, fine, I'll go do me. Like I've always done. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what happens, right? Like, I just live my life. Yeah. I'm just trying to get by. Right. Until it's tea time with Emma Watson. So Emma Watson, like, we have to have a nice <laughs> meal, she does. <laughs> oh, so you don't make nice things. I really like your nice, misogynistic a, viewpoint. A nice <laughs> boiled roast. I heard you hate women. I want to save you. <laughs> She's a black man. Fuck me, Mason, and call me a cunt. <laughs> that yeah. sounded more like Emma Watson yeah. than the shit he was doing. <laughs> call me a cunt. That right right sounded royal. You're dicking me from behind, you. Oh, God. Call me a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I know, I'm really, I'm sorry that I don't take dating more seriously, Lisa. No, I don't I'm want I'm sorry you to. that it's like so unappealing I don't want you to. that I don't I take just, it seriously I have, at all. I seriously have like four really good dude friends uh-huh. that are in the very same predicament as you. Uh-huh. One of which, we should, we, fuck, we should get them all on the show so you guys could just have some like I don't, I don't need all anti-woman like, I don't oh, want let's that. talk about why we can't get a girlfriend. But no, this man, he's fucking cool as oh, shit, but he's been single. I don't even wonder why but, I don't want to hang out with him. You okay, know what I mean? you but come here on, we are. You, you come on here. Here we are. I like having you on. Here. You can say horrible because you things all day long me. about women in general. You remind but the second that I say why. some shit about you personally, you get no, mad. No, no, no. It's beautiful. Mm. I like it mm. because it's a reminder. <laughs> it reinforces my 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 mental block at the concept of relationship, of looking for a relationship. Because I'm honest, like I'm being with you right now, right? Oh, and you okay. ridicule me, and that's how every girl okay. that I get involved with is. No and one that's is and that's fine. You. No, no, no. You are, and that's fine. That's what often women do to me. I have a conversation with them. They disagree with me about something, so mm-hmm. they belittle me about it. And then they wonder why I'm not interested in hanging out with them or find them to be like offensive. I don't think that that's like like it, like they find a reason to disagree with you. Maybe if you walk in wearing a t-shirt that's like I ain't here to play, bitches. I don't need no cunts. Like that's maybe the conversations you're having might be driving their reaction. You know what I mean? But these aren't the conversations that I'm having with them because I don't know them. I know you, so I'm having an honest conversation with you. But that's I mean, why. That's why this is like. But that's why this is a prime example of why I'm not in a relationship. Because once I get past all the bullshit with you, and I can be real. Hey, this is me. Let's have a real conversation. This is how it goes. Like, because yeah. because whoever woman I'm with wants to come up with something to talk about, and that's fine. I like talking about things, but if I don't agree with her about all of her little stupid fucking idiosyncratic thoughts on something, then she starts shit with me, and yeah. that's fine. You just need to heal more. You're not ready for the right, date right, more. Right, that's right. all it is. Right. No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. And in 15 or 20 years, when I'm healed up enough to maybe <laughs> date, and my dick doesn't work, and I don't want anything to do with anybody <laughs> after 20 <laughs> more years of fucking yeah, not having been work. with anybody. You could start like, a whole organization nah, of fucking, neglected, pissed off misogynies. Nah, yeah. nah. Nah. Who's all the swingers? They like, why would I? Why would I? Why am I a misogynist? Like you because you generalize know? women in all in a negative light across the board. Nah, I say about that. What do y'all talk about swingers? Yeah, can we by have, the way, can, can y'all be in this conversation or not? No, we're done. Mason, we need to stop. Y'all do your thing. No, 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 no. We need to stop. Like, uh, <laughs> we need to stop. About ten minutes or so. Let it run. No, you we, can go up ten or twenty or whatever. I got plenty of time. No, we sorry, y'all. Out, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. We kept going from last. Time. I was like, man, we didn't know if y'all was done. We started talking about what he said. His dick wasn't gonna work in twenty yeah, years. Yeah, we're dick <laughs> wasn't working. We're like, nah, it should. Around like eighty-five. He said eighty-five. I'm just going. That's my cutoff. I'm not fucking past eighty-five. 
So much. that's when you're just gonna say stop. It's like even, even if your dick did work, you would stop. There you go. You got about you got about 45 more years. You think to go you're with. moving fast enough at 80 past 85? For I fun? You don't so have lucky. to move fast to fuck. Why do you? That's the jackrabbit in you, motherfucker. Jesus Christ, stop. <laughs> What the fuck? No, that was... He yeah, said it. I, dude, I didn't say it. No, that's right. He no, said right. it. Dave, I'm telling you to whip that up. 85 is too fast for him. He can't move fast enough. When he's he's going to be going to town, and I'm going to be like, see, be that's the jackrabbiting you, babe. When are you going to be done fucking? Oh, God damn it. Now, that's what you're going to say, though? Jesus Christ. When are you going to be done fucking? I'm already done, done fucking, bro. I'm just saying, hold him up. When's the last time I had sex? Let's go with 41. Juice cut it off at 85 because he can't move uh, fast enough, so he can't jack up. You say I'm cutting it off at 41 because I can't talk to women because I can't talk to women without making them mad. If I get to know them, I make them mad, and I'm not willing to make them mad anymore. Like I'm just not. All right, so like so within 15 years when we're still podcasting, I would ask when that number changes. I don't know if I get laid sometime <laughs> in the next 15 years, <laughs> I'll change it to that age. Uh, hey man, I'm fucking again. Can y'all, can y'all imagine <laughs> the retirement <laughs> edition of Mason and French? <laughs> Oh, that's going to be funny as shit. I mean, we'll see, you know. It would be nice to get it done and not just have it end suddenly. Like, fucking old motherfuckers in the old folk home. I'll be the nasty motherfucker to show my dick to all the nurses. (laughs) Just because. Oh, here come that nasty motherfucker J-Rod. He got his dick out. Put your dick away. Don't nobody need to see that, Mr. Rod. Put your dick away. Yes, you do. I felt they needed some air. It needs to breathe. You want to blow some air on it? Get a little kiss. Can somebody throw me their lighter? Do you so want a Jello what? It'd this. be at Jello yeah. time. Oh yeah, it has to be at Jello time, cause that's when all the nurses gonna be out. You gotta be there at Jello time, man. Jello time, get it on. <laughs> Shit. I wish you should be having your dick out there, man. People are trying to enjoy Jello, bro. But that's where the nurses are at. <laughs> so look, if you know it's Jello time, when my dick gonna come out, everybody just turn away from the door. We know a dick coming out of Jello time. <laughs> Jello makes J Rod's dick hard. <laughs> Yo, that's how I gotta come in the room. That's what I need to say when I come in the room. That's I'm in it with the Bill Cosby. Oh, the Jello time. Oh, nasty motherfucker. Oh, nasty motherfucker. Because you gonna blow his hips out because he can't go fast anymore. So what? Is, that's, By the time they get their hip replacement surgery, it's gonna be money on the Jew. He gonna be over. Oh yeah, right. he'll, 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 he'll have the titanium hip. hips, but his shoulder's still gonna be fucked up. That's true. That's true. <laughs> He'll be able to fuck, but he won't be able to hold himself up. <laughs> he can't. He can't brace himself. He's gonna be like, he'll be like, let me read against the wall. I have something. I, 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 Oh, oh wait, no, it's the right arm. Sex toys. Oh, that should be some shit. Like, uh-huh. geriatric sex toys. They you probably got them. It's like a, it's like a hoister to hold your chest dog. up so you can't <laughs> jack around. That's fire, son. I got a geriatric That's sex not- toy, dog. That <laughs> motherfucking dog pro is fire, son. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, I don't need women in my life. I don't need anything. I got that Gawk Pro, son, with a little water-based lubricant. (laughs) Yeah, but look, they can do jackrabbit and hips, you know what I mean? They probably got knobs on it by then. I got an app for that. Hold on, baby, let me turn it up. I'm going, I'm going 10 speed, 10 speed, coming on 10 speed. Jesus. But now wait a minute. But remember how we talk about turning uh, old bitches' hips into dust? Uh, if he has the jackrabbit hips, I ain't worried about that no more, Mike. He's dusting hips. That's right. Uh, yeah, if you got the steel hips. No, I'm saying you fucking eighties. Yeah, you 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 yeah. want a jackrabbit? Yeah. Old bitches you gotta hips find young dust. girls at that point. You gotta find girls younger than you can handle all that fucking jackrabbit. Then you gotta take the nurses. <laughs> Joe time. Yeah, that's uh-huh. really why men uh-huh. marry women 20 years younger because they can't keep up sexually in their own age bracket. That's the reason. Uh, it's got something to do with it. I mean, maybe, uh-huh. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I could talk to that too, but I won't. It could be gravity, though. I don't want to do it. Mm. Uh, old woman's asses drop differently. It ain't got that same. And ain't always the age. It's got to do with the build. That too. These bitches yeah. be hurting themselves. Yeah, you see Alpha walking around shaking like Biden, 
And then you got fucking, not you know, Amber, Amber oh, walking not around not like the IG models do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, walking around like Biden. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what you're looking at when you're in the old folk home. You got them Ethels walking around. I mean, by the time we get there, the old one probably look a whole lot better. They just got BBLs and fake titties. Oh, those are those, those are the younger generation now. That's what I'm saying. That that, that oh, oh them old imagine? women our age. Once we get to the oh, fucking yeah. old folks that, home, yeah. they gonna be like that. They yeah. gonna have all these titties sitting up and all this ass sitting on their back. And, and it's not even gonna be like ass. It's gonna be like hacky sack packs. No, that's like, not because it's gonna stay there. That fucking shit is in there. Like yeah, yeah. but it's gonna dissolve over time, uh, and it's gonna look. Then you got lopsided ass. You got yeah. one ass flat, one ass plump. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna get real. Your left cheek. That's gonna be not nice. <laughs> lip, lip your left cheek, low, low. Lip titty. <coughs> oh lord. You be fucking with her, trying to blow on a nipple and shit, trying to pump her titty up here, up on her neck. <laughs> pump your titty up, man. Hold on, girl. Oh my work. god. That's what they. That was gonna be crooked. Oh yeah. Be like my. It be like my my shirt. Oh, uh, the red, <laughs> the red on the muscle shirt with the one titty down here, the other titties up in your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one yet. He ain't put the muscle shirt on for you? Oh, you need a jackrabbit with the muscle shirt on, bro. No, let's not use that as a verb. Let's not. I don't know. She turned around looking at you and your pecs in different places. I think you said, because I had the Macho Man John on one day. Oh, yeah, i seen the Macho Man John. Yep. Oh, man. Well, that's the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so do y'all know? Uh, I seen this one joint about this. Uh, I guess she's a porn star. Yeah, she became a porn star. But before she became a porn star, she had to have her. They can trim your pussy lips. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know you could there's trim this, pussy lips. There's this whole doctor on Instagram. He's called the Dick Doc. And he specializes in. Well, we knew about a dick dot because yeah. it can stretch your dick out. Yes. But he'll, I didn't know. He'll add girth. He'll take your tummy fat and put it around the base of your dick. <laughs> that's one of the procedures. So that's she knows how from. it's done. Well, he, yeah, he's like. Because we looked it up the procedure how they fucking got to cut it and put that thing in there and stretch your dick out. Oh, yeah, no, that's not like a recommended procedure, though. Yeah, no. I'll take being able to pee for however long I can live. Um, he even has like sex. penis elongator pumps. Have y'all ever seen those yeah. like penis pumps? Uh -huh. Yeah, there's that's temporary. It's like a temporary thing. Like it just makes it seem. How long you need it to be? What half hour? Um, yeah. How long you need it to be much bigger? Half hour. Yes. What do you need it to be bigger for? A half hour? I'm gonna need can I make 15 it? minutes for that girl? Can I add a? Can I add an inch for about 15 to 25 minutes? Yeah. I don't know why people think that they could use something like that though. You can't like get. I mean. You can't like stretch really hard. But like, I'm gonna get taller. You can stand up straight. I think they're for making your dick hard when it doesn't get hard. I think that's what a penis pump I is. I thought that penis pumps were help with the blood vessels to keep your dick going. Like yeah, it just yeah. Because the porn stars use that shit. Yeah, like, so they that they it. yeah. Because you gotta think. So stay hard. The cum shot is what you're looking for as the producer of the video. You gotta have that cum <laughs> shot. They get paid right. off the cum shot. Like the dude yeah. doesn't get paid unless he busts uh -huh. a nut. Yeah. But if you fuck for a living. There are times where you just ain't busting. It's like, fuck, they got to use that fake ass lotion and squirt on a bitch's face. I shit. heard that they, they have fluffers on yeah, set. Yeah. On it's, it's not so like that like anymore. On your dick and it's make it's you not like that anymore. That was like a 70s to. thing. It was back <laughs> in the day when there was money. Yeah, they got all the machines and at, shit. No, at the thing, at the thing there was the uh, like uh, how to break in the biz thing, and they talked oh, yeah. about all kinds of stuff, and that's like Interesting. one of the things is fluffers don't exist anymore. Because mm -hmm. like what it is is it's like you got to fuck in five different positions, mm -hmm. and then you got to come so they're gonna do 10 minutes like this 10 minutes like that 10 minutes like that and cut together three or four minutes of each position and that's what the video is yeah but the 10 minutes it's like three or four minutes of talking about all right i'm gonna fuck you like this i'm gonna twist your leg over like that and roll you over to doggy style and you know what i mean there's a conversation yeah there's like we're changing the thing we're doing the lights we're moving this thing so there's a lot of like in Directing. between time where you're not necessarily fucking so like back in the day they'd have a fluffer come out suck your dick to keep it hard mm -hmm. uh, while you're waiting on the next scene change or the cameras to move or whatever yeah and then you'd fuck in that next position then you pull out somebody sucking your dick for a while you flip that's the, and that's that's, that's what crazy. the fluffer actually was there to do to keep yeah. you hard while you're between sequence in the scene that you're putting together i got it and then in the end you come 
Right. So that's what they still do, but there's no fluffers because they don't have budgets like that. Right, that makes but, sense. Yeah. Well, and they don't need to. Why would you fucking pay somebody to do that when you can literally just get any... Well, it depends on just how professional yeah. the uh, production is trying to be as far as like what are. they're trying to get as far as cameras and all that kind of shit. Yeah, because yeah. you got you can have a dude set over there. So we switching up scenes? All right, we going for yeah, what scene is this one? You know, that's your job. All right, we're going, going scene three. All right, hold on, I'll be there in a minute. All right, yeah, all right, let's get this going. Blowing people. You, you it's are, a really you're good. a mid scene blower. Like, that's yeah. your job. Like, yeah, that's, that's how you level up. Hey, hey, that's how you level up. It would be like working. Right, let's go. It would be like working the door back in the day at the comedy yeah, club. Yeah, that's what's screaming. So you can get some time on stage. You're just going to suck dick money. It's awful. Crying. I just, I don't know. I watched that one documentary on Netflix about camera girls and, like, the, it was real young girls that were like, I'm moving away from my mommy and daddy. Oh, and yeah, Nashville, yeah. And I'm going to go down and to I'm Miami. Gonna I'm going to be making big. And yeah. And, like, their through. very first fucking porno yeah, that they ran through. Oh, man. They were like, well, it was one of those scenes where... I had to cry because they wanted me to cry, and I had to choke, and I threw up a little, and I cried some more. Like it was horrible. Yeah. It was like the worst kind of porn you can like but dip the girls, your toe in. The young girls go but down they believe they were going to get famous. Yeah, they don't know what they're getting into. And they're in like one or some two. Random dude. Yeah. Like that does porn. Oh, I do porn. Okay, I'm and going like to. And like the nasty dudes, the cameramen that are oh, like, yeah. oh, you're going to make it so And they fucking the dog shit out of them too. Yeah, but yeah. they're like so demeaning to them. Yeah. Oh, God. That's the kind of porn I'd like to do that's not <laughs> demeaning. I'd like to do some like pro bitch porn, but like, you know. You it's said bad, pro bitch porn. Where's the fucking market for that shit? It's, like, it's like those Girls Gone Wild videos, like that kind of director mentality. Like, let's see how many titties I can get these like girls to show. But the thing it's is. The same, like, that's how it is. There's not a Prefla that shit happening because these girls got we said before some daddy issues, some mental issues yeah. like I, Plus, pussy sells. It always has, it always will. Always it's will. the number one commodity in the fucking world. Ass will always fucking sell. It's true. The world could go hell in a handbasket. A bitch opens her legs up, somebody is going to pay for it. Uh-huh. That's true. Dick ain't worth shit. Uh-huh. No. We can't go out here and say, hey, got dick for you. Even a bitch that you can say, hey, look, look at this. Does this look like good meat to you? You want this good meat? <laughs> eh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but a bitch open her legs up, hey, I'm trying to get that. You see what I'm saying? It's a whole that's different true. thing for us. It's like, very different. We well, can't that's go the out thing, here with like, a dick hanging out and be like, hey, you want this meat? That's the thing. Yeah, and we yeah. could just barely like spread our legs and we'd have a line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we I go like this. And throw it in the air. Yeah. Somebody's going to go, Hey, what's up, girl? That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. It don't take much. Yeah, I mean, if I could just wave dick around and girls wanted to have sex with me, that'd be one thing. But like, life ain't like that. Do like Ric Flair just helicopter I mean, maybe that though, maybe Mason, you that's could wave your dick around bullshit, some like. Lisa, shut the fuck up. Hey, there could be a girl bullshit. out there that's like a real Lisa. Shut the fuck up. She's four hundred pounds. The monkeys pounds. might fly out of my you said, butt. You said the Charlie Sheen shit. Charlie Sheen shit. <laughs> oh, Charlie Sheen shit. Uh. <laughs> He waved his dick around. Yeah, Rick Flair. Rick Flair, I'm telling you, do the Rick Flair helicopter that motherfucker. <laughs> go, go down the aisle, go. <laughs> yeah, like I could, I could get arrested and locked up, or maybe get laid. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and just go with celibacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a flip of the coin with yeah, that one. Yeah. It all depends on where you at. Though. I'm good, but that's how it all is. It all it's always a flip of the coin. It's like flipping the coin. I'm gonna get laid, or I'm gonna end up in jail. I mean, look what happened. Like to one or the other. He was at a place where you would think you could actually beat off, and no problem. I mean, you could, and theoretically, he didn't even, because like they were like, there's a lot of evidence that it, it wasn't him doing that. Uh-huh. They just busted him because he was fucking Pee Wee Herman. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah. Like, th- the guy jerking off was left-handed and Pee Wee's right-handed or vice versa or some shit like that. I've wait, heard, wait, 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 I've on, heard some on. shit. Now, now <laughs> you done opened up this door. You yeah. done opened up this door yeah. now. I've heard shit about that. How the fuck do you realize the stroke? Like, by taking the, if the ki- and like, Because okay. if the cop that's observing you jerk off in the theater is watching you beat your dick he with your left hand oh, and yeah. you're right-handed, you know. it's unlikely, it's not impossible, I'm, I'm but like, it's unlikely that you're jerking off with your left hand if you're fucking right-handed. He could have wanted something different. He might have been doing a stranger. He could have been there's, a, there's a lot of fucking options as to what could have happened. Yeah. However, how likely does that sound to you? I don't know, man. It's Pee Wee. I don't know him too well, but I mean, wow. hell. He had the playhouse. He went in that movie theater like, you Bro. know what? I'm going on date night. All right, so. Date night. 
The problem was Pee Wee was gay and he's in a gay fucking porn place jerking off and they were trying to fuck with gay people. So it's oh, what that's it, also true. It is yeah, what it is. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, here's a celeb gay that we can fuck with. The same thing that happened with uh, the dude from um, the band uh, fucking Wham. George Michael. George Michael, when they yeah. went in and they scammed him at the fucking blowjob glory hole. He was at the glory uh, hole. He was at the glory hole in the fucking <laughs> men's room on the park and shit. Right. Like, let that man get his dick sucked if somebody wants to suck his dick. He's what the, the fuck? truck stop and shit. Right? <laughs> Fucking with them lot lizards. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah. It wasn't quite a lot lizard. I think it was literally like, it was a gay pickup place. It was like when they got that the fucking senator monster. dude that was kicking oh, his foot out oh, of the other guy's foot. Three no, times. My favorite, though, was, was it Hugh Grant? That got busted. He got busted for banging a prostitute. Uh, and but she was like so busted. And they had her mug shot up on like all the fucking. If you're fucking Elizabeth Hurley everybody. though, you were fucking. Why Elizabeth are you? Hurley, why man? are you gonna go oh. fuck a pretty prostitute? You oh, need man. some variety in maybe your life, son. Right? Maybe she didn't like the jackrabbit. You I need don't know. variety in your life. <laughs> if you're gonna be that I'm dude. <laughs> Say what? She said maybe she didn't like the jackrabbit. You was like, you heard that side that came in? That was his side. Yeah, that's what we doing now. So he called it. I gotta make sure he's paying attention. That's what it is. We know we call it the jackrabbit because motherfucker, we know you. This has been hundreds of episodes. Yeah. This motherfucker has been known as a jackrabbit <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. Straight the fuck up. He been jackrabbit since been like Jack episode since 55. He the, uh, camp, since he came out the camp. That man's been a jackrabbit motherfucker since the camp Yeah, game. nobody's shocked or surprised. <laughs> He's got to get it in. People may be shocked. People possible. may be shocked that I've shut down the whole thing, but, like, that's a whole other game. He's a hundred, hundred, what is it? A hundred miles of running out the gate. Hey, girl, how you? Right. But you know it though. You're there. You lived the life. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely reconsidering like how hot I thought I was when he grabbed my shoulders like that. Now I'm just like, damn, that's really how you hold like a fucking. You this she man, thought she was special that he got a hold look, and went all hard and fast. This man said, look, I'm locking the fuck in. You are locked in for the ride. All hands and feet stay inside the rails. And he gonna tell your ass about that. He got, he's got the proper grip to make sure you ain't going nowhere. He is getting full. He's going balls deep. He's, he's, he's going to the base. <laughs> My nigga, give me some. <laughs> He's giving you all he's got to give you. <laughs> Yo, I so oh, like that. man. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a good one. He said, I'm giving you all I got to give. Yeah, this is all I got, baby. <laughs> Take it or leave it, girl. Here it is. Yeah, you're getting the best out of him that you could get. You got the best of me. <laughs> Oh shit, that hurts me, but it's funny oh, as Lord. shit. It is pretty funny. And locked in. I'm crying but laughing. Because it's funny as shit, because she was like, I thought I was special. <laughs> <laughs> he locked in on me. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Stop, my head. <laughs> you don't you Stop. Over this was you that did this. You can't feed this shit to me because now it's just going through my head. Oh my god. He, he's grabbed my shoulder. Oh, wait a minute. He's got me on the oh, oh no. He, oh, he really likes me. I'm doing it right. I knew he was going to love this motherfucking ass. Disclaimer that is not what was going through my head. The views and the opinions expressed on this show are exclusively of the individual expressing them at the time they are being expressed. Oh, Said views may or may not oh, change shit. over time. He walked in. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga, too, boy, that's my dog. <laughs> you, my boy, you. <laughs> I hate y'all. Oh, <laughs> shit. It's all right. I hate me, too. It's cool. Uh, that's right. what I'm going to say, man. If you go before I do, I'm going to yell that shit at the funeral, man. Oh, you my boy, you. I'm going to say that song for the motherfucking movie. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Dust in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> my girl. I got you, man. Y'all heard that. That was in, that was in the wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's written out there. 
Oh shit. That I gotta watch that movie again. That motherfucking movie was so fucking funny. We're streaking. Is that your husband? <laughs> Can you move over? Oh, it's just a little cold out there, isn't it? <laughs> Do you trust that we Oh no, this is the part. <laughs> the screen, the screen, the screen, the yeah. Yes, sir. Do you trust that I do not want to see you die here tonight? Sir, yes, sir. Blue, you're my boy. Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Oh man, when he drops that motherfucking joint, that black dude the black and he goes screams, flying. the scream alone is the funniest part. That shit had me dying every time I watch it, even though I know it's coming. When that yeah, scream hits, much. the scream old just school, takes me. Old school is one of the rare, very funny comics. Uh, and see, I'm not a fan of Will Ferrell. I really, I me like neither. He's only good when he's a side exactly. character. When he's if the he's the main, main one, one, he's I a problem. But if he's a fucking side piece, bro, he's the amazing. The one movie where he was the main, I did fuck with him. There it is. I got you. I'm hitting it. Uh, <laughs> so good. my eyes in curiosity. Dust in the wind. Uh-huh. KY wrestling on hold for a while. Good idea. Uh-huh. Look, please don't beat yourself up over this thing, bitch. It's not your fault. Damn it, Blue is old. See, <laughs> see, Lisa, that's how I feel about me and my relationship status. Don't beat yourself up over it, baby. I'm the one that's going to be alone. You live your life. Mm-hmm. I'm going to live my life. Mm-hmm. You my boy, Jim. And we're going to have a good time. <laughs> and the Jew will be the Jew. And at his funeral, <laughs> Mike and I will stand there and sing Dust in the Wind. Yep, got it under control. Uh-huh. Dust in and the I'm a wind. You my boy, you. I'm gonna wear a fucking construction helmet. <laughs> we all gotta have fishing poles and do a fucking mm-hmm. 21 cast <laughs> into the fucking lake. I think I might be cremated. 21 <laughs> cast yeah, into the lake. Cast into a lake, man. As we throw the fishing, as we throw his ashes into the lake. Yeah, we gotta find a good body of water. By you, you're gonna become chum. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to chum the Jew. We're going to go shark fishing with the remains of the Jew unit. Yeah. That, you'd rather yeah. that, wouldn't you? Be right there Can we the put chunks of you on a hook and shark fish? Because you said yeah. that you would be the best bait Maybe for sharks for sure. ever. They gonna eat on me that shit sure. is hitting, dog. Yeah. Why, why is that? Why are you going to be the best bait? To, you know uh, the skinny bones. You know, you explain, ain't, explain, ain't explain, no that explain that to her. Explain that to her. Explain it to her. Explain it. Really? Tell her. I, Tell her. I got. I've been on a search for shark for a long ass time. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> That's not an explanation. Okay. I, uh, the, okay. The, the song fucking me. I close my eyes. Because I'm always talking. About eyes. <laughs> Only for a moment. <laughs> All right. Well, well, what's gone. the question again? Why are you going to be good oh, shark bait? Why are you the best shark bait? Yeah. Because I'm like Captain. I'm like. <laughs> Past before well, I'm seasoned. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like Captain and Gingy. I got some good seasoned meat, you know, because I don't, you know. Just in oh. the wind. I ain't, I ain't well. All and the it's just because of the, the, the irony wind. of me wanting to catch shark on the top. You got to tear my ass up when I go in the water. He didn't talk about the hotel we were in Florida. He's like, I'm going to catch a shark. Oh, see, he's been wanting to catch a shark since we've known him. He's been wanting to put the mouth up on the wall. But he he doesn't want to go out to big water to get it. Right, he's scared he did, of big he water. He did catch one. The one time I did, he been talking about all nah, fucking week. The one time of water. I stayed at home, I had to work. Well, we were in Florida remotely, and him and Ben went out. And he, you did, you got the shark, right? Uh-huh. He always catches yeah, the small not, ones. I didn't he needs one. a big one. Like yeah. you saw the shark on kids' wall, right? Well, they yeah. Kids' yeah. water keeps getting smaller every time I yeah. Yeah. see. He, he got <laughs> salty with that one because <laughs> fucking Jake caught a shark and showed the video. First thing this one man, that shit ain't real. I said, yeah, it is, bro. <laughs> so she called a shark. That ain't no real shark, though. That's not like a, a great white shark. That's just one of them, you know, regular sharks. Like, nigga, it's a shark. It's a shark. Nevertheless, it's a shark. She caught one before you caught one, and it's mounted on her wall. He's been mad ever since. Oh, man, he Absolutely. was mad. Yeah. Because he got to get a bigger one. I'm not mad. It's He's a hater she cheated. She, t- she had a boat. Motherfucker, that's what you need to get a shark. <laughs> no, I catch one from the shore. <laughs> not that size. Right. Yeah, we've been telling you. 
You need to right move. You need to go out there. Y'all just, all right, I'm going to stop bullshitting. Wait till it gets warm again. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, we need to charter this motherfucker. He, he has said this on numerous episodes. I'm going to quit bullshit. I'm going to go get a shark. We're going to go down there. No, no. You know what? Oh, he gonna show off. Let's free charter a boat, bitch. Let's charter a boat. Christmas 2023, baby. Let's charter a boat. Myrtle Beach, let's nah. do it. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna try to show off for folks now. He's gonna show off for her fucking uh-huh. mama stepdad. Yeah, I'm gonna be, show I'm, hopefully, I'm gonna be. My redneck, uh, my redneck stepdaddy be like, he would help you stuff it. He would make a fucking, uh-huh. he would do some like ter- taxidermy shit with you. <laughs> Nah, see, the Jews always just talking about the taxidermy it. process and how you gotta like just take a picture or whatever and send it to the thing and they'll make a fake one. Oh, really? Is that you don't think they're real? Oh, so it might not really be. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they just make a fake fucking fish to put on their wall. Apparently, they might be. Like, like that one's fake, right? You said that one's fake. Yeah, it's fiberglass. Yeah, he's a like fiberglass yeah, fish. Yeah. But that's the actual likeness of the fish that he caught. Word. Uh-huh. But he's got to replace that because that's been there for years. Fucking yarmulke. Every time I look at that damn fish. Yeah, it's a good filter fish. Uh, <laughs> with like the titty beads though. The beads. Like how many tits did you see, sir? Where you got that many normal uh, That's what he beads. showed. He no, that's what he had left over. I don't think those was... I don't even know where the fuck I got He didn't even go to New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah, it was, that like, was, a it was like a fake Mardi Gras. Oh, no, that yeah. was him showing titties. You need to ask him questions about where he's actually yeah. been. He, he, Instead of assuming he's been in New Orleans and seen titties. No titties I don't involved. assume anything when it comes to this, man. We go my titties out of anything. That was his that, titties out. Not we go, fucking women's titties. That we was go, given to him. We go to the strip club for titties around here. We don't We don't go to yeah. New Orleans to see breasts. Mm-hmm. You know I what I'm saying? I want to go down that more crazy ass spot. I want to do it too. I want to go to, I want to do Mardi Gras one time before I die. Y'all go for it. I just want to see it. I know it's going to get on my nerves. It'll probably get on my nerves. But I think I can make it fun. I think it will be fun. I mean, you can make anything fun, but Damn that right many you can. people that crowd it, it's like New York on New Year's. Like, That's yeah. another thing that I, I, I actually oh, wouldn't no, do that. No, I wouldn't no, do that. No, no. Well, I don't think I'll go down Mardi Gras during Mardi Gras. I mean, Mardi Gras, that area would still be the same almost. Yes. I would like to go to like that area, though, New Orleans. It's always I would like be to see it. It's My sister be went popping. down there. She it said it was be. nice. She said it was cool as shit. Yeah, I want to go meet some like voodoo oh, I got witches me a voodoo and shit. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to see. voodoo doll, man. Hmm. That shit tight. I think I that'd be cool. With it yet, but I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, I'm going to have to bring this episode of Mason and French Show to a close. Oh, uh, yeah. We'd like to thank you for listening. If you've made it this far, you really are a friend of the uh-huh. Mason and Friends Show. Like, share, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Keep grinding on the shit you're trying to get done, because that's how it gets done. We believe in you. That's right. Be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh-huh. A little bit by a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Keep moving forward. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, we'd like to thank Lisa for coming on the show. Always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Mm-hmm. So much fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I promise to repost. <laughs> That would be nice to you. I'd really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. It would be nice if people reposted the show to try to help, you know, spread the word, spread the vibe, put the shit out there. A little <laughs> like, share, subscribe. That'd be nice. But, uh, you know, that's, expectations are very low. I found but, some stupid shit I'm posting. You know, live your life. Don't forget, we love you very much. Love we wish y'all. you nothing but the best. All day, and every day. Peace be with you. Go. Peace.